So let's talk about the neutral rate. You've said before that the Fed should have at least some idea of the neutral rate to know whether it's restrictive or not. We heard from Chair Powell this week, speaking at Stanford, where he said, yes, we are restrictive in our policy, and yet he quite explicitly said he doesn't need to worry about where the neutral rate is for policy going forward. That is like saying, saying we don't need to know what the neutral rate is, is like saying you should drive your car on feel without looking at the speedometer. It is just a mistake. You cannot know, and look, I don't know what uh, the chairman said in full context, and I want to be fair, but there's no way to judge what policy is without knowing what would be a neutral policy. My view is that the evidence is overwhelming that the neutral rate is far higher than the 2.5%, 2.6% that the Fed talks about. That evidence comes from four places. First, we have high interest rates and we have an economy that is, if anything, growing faster than its long-run uh, potential, creating jobs as fast or faster than natural growth in the labor force, even allowing for immigration. Second, we have an economy with financial conditions that are extremely loose, that are actually looser than they were before the Fed started the whole tightening process. If you look at credit spreads, you look at the stock market, suggesting that in the fullness of it all, financial conditions actually haven't been tightened in an appreciable way. Third, if you look at the market's estimate of the long-run neutral rate as formed by looking at longer-term uh, forward uh, interest rates, that neutral rate is comfortably above uh, 4%. Fourth, if you look at the fundamental determinants of the neutral rate, we have big surges in uh, budget deficits that, if anything, look to get worse, uh, given the political process. We have big changes in resilience investment, in green investment, in new investment, in uh, data centers, along with deglobalization, which may limit capital inflows uh, into our country. So whether you look at the fundamentals, you look at market estimates, you look at financial conditions, or you look at the current strength of the economy, it seems to me the evidence is overwhelming that the neutral rate is far higher than the Fed supposes. And so cutting uh, rates and hitting the accelerator in an economy creating jobs at, more, at a pace of more than 3 million jobs uh, a year, with payrolls growing at rates consistent with inflation far above uh, 2%, with a need to hoard ammunition, because we're not 100% certain we're past uh, the every financial problem in uh, the banking uh, system, and with potential supply shocks, coming down uh, the road, things could change. Things are always subject to rapid change, so I don't want to make a prescription for monetary policy in June. But on current facts and uh, current trends, I think it would be an inappropriate act to cut rates uh, in June. And it is deeply troubling to me that the Fed somehow thinks that fidelity to its previous forward guidance and doctrine it believed some time ago is a more important thing than trying to gauge the neutral rate on an ongoing uh, basis. This fits with what I've been saying for several years now, David, that the Fed has to be very careful of all of the forward guidance it is inclined to provide, not because it's not good at making judgments, but because no one can make uh, judgments. 
And when you make judgments and they turn out to be wrong, which is inevitable, you damage your own credibility and you constrain your own uh, future uh, actions.